Before we start today's video, the first comment is going to win themselves a mini Ultra Mystery Box, but for the main prize, I'm actually giving away 10 Ultra Mystery Boxes. Now, these are worth around $25 each, so that's $250 in Mystery Boxes to one lucky winner. All you have to do to be entered is just leave a like on today's video, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and comment your in-game name on Arcane RSPS, and that is all you have to do to be entered. So, good luck on that giveaway, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Yo, what is up everyone? And today we're actually on Arcane RSPS. Now, this is a brand new server that is actually releasing this Sunday on the 31st of March. So trust me, you do not want to miss out on this launch. If you guys haven't heard about it, it's actually part of this really unique concept on RSPS called The Realm. And I'll just show you guys a little bit about it. All right, so this is essentially the launcher for The Realm. So I haven't really made videos on this before because usually I don't really play custom servers. But as you can see, you can choose between Realm Classic or The Realm. And th these are all custom servers. So they have three different custom servers with hundreds hundreds of players and they're honestly pretty damn popular but this is the first time they're releasing an old school runescape cinema type of server which is going to be arcane releasing this friday and yeah you can literally choose between any four of them click play now and it will run like seamlessly all in one client which is really really cool you can even access their home website here and if you go to this as well you can actually like drop down to select which server you want and it'll take you to that corresponding website it's honestly insane how clean this interface is but yeah anyways we're basically going to do like a mini server tour and just show you guys what this game is about just so you have some idea what's coming on sunday so first of all they do have fully working rune light with pretty much every single ring light plugin that you can think of. I do currently have 117 HD enabled, which also fully works in here, which is quite nice. But yeah, you can even turn on 3D weather, and basically what that does is it shows you, like, the weather in games. You can currently see it's, like, raining, I think. If you teleport to different places, I'm pretty sure the weather changes as well. All right, let's just go somewhere random. What about... Go to Bob's Island. All right, so you can see the weather and the biome has slightly changed. Obviously, this is, like, a ring light plugin, so... You can just turn it off if you don't like it. They also have this cool feature in Runelite where you can even use your own resource packs. So as you can see here, they have loads of different ones which basically just change your game plan. So let's just try a random one. All right, Dark 2010 scape. All right, so as you can see, like my entire client has just changed to match that. Oh, this one looks pretty cool. Dragon frame. All right, let's try that. Holy shit. That looks interesting. Okay. But you can easily just change it here. If you want the Twisted theme, for example, that one kind of looks like Twisted Leagues from SRS. Or you can just go back to default at any time you want, and it still looks pretty damn good, just like old school. They are also currently hosting a one bill SRS GP invite competition, which ends on the 1st of April. So if you do want to take part in that, all you have to do is invite people to the Discord. I will link the Discord in the description below, so if you want to take part in this, you can. And they have prizes from 1st place all the way to 10th place, where you can choose between Old School GP or a donate rank and credit in-game. So completely up to you, but yeah, definitely worth taking part in. All right, one of the first things I want to show off on this server, they have a really cool upgrade system. So if you come northeast of home and come over to the Strange Machine, you can essentially upgrade a bunch of stuff. So a lot of these are just old school items. So for example, a Twisted Bow, you can upgrade into a Seren God Bow. There is only a 45% success rate. So there is a chance you fail. You also need a certain amount of mad points in order to upgrade it. But essentially, if you do succeed, it gives you a way better version of the bow. So you can do this with weapons. You can even do this with armor. For example, I can upgrade my Missouri. So I actually upgrade it into Fortified Missouri on here. Ancestral, for example, gives you Twisted Ancestral. Ancient Ceremonial can be upgraded into Virtus. Dragon Guard can be upgraded into Sanguine Torva, which is what I'm currently wearing. There's even accessories you can upgrade, so Fury can be turned into Fury Ornament Kit, a Colonel Kit, and I'm pretty sure this actually has better stats, by the way, so it's not only cosmetic. And you can even turn, like, Dragon Axes, Pickaxes, Harpoons into, like, the Ornament ornament version, which are essentially just better versions of them. So loads of cool stuff on this upgrade table. They also have a very unique equipment interface, so... You can actually see like your exact attack and defense bonuses and a few additional bonuses that you wouldn't usually see. Definitely pretty unique. And if you have any perks active, it also displays them here. They even have like a cosmetic override, so you can equip certain stuff. So if you want Missouri to be like your cosmetic override, then you can be like wearing Tola, but it still shows that you're wearing Missouri essentially. So you can kind of get like fashion scape with that. You can just wear essentially like a really cool fashion scape outfit while still using like Torva inside to PVM with and stuff, which is pretty damn nice. But yeah, they also have a very cool teleport interface. Like you can see, if I just click here, it takes me, it brings up all the teleports. If you hover over any monsters as well, by the way, it essentially shows you their drop tables. So they do have a lot of bosses from old school. Obviously, this is like a semi-custom Ursa server, so it's not fully one-to-one -one with old school, but a lot of the ideas do come from old school, so you can see all the drop tables. For example, Shaman's Drop of Dragon Warhammer. They do have their own custom versions of Theatre of Blood and Chambers of Zeric as well, but they drop all the old school items, which is pretty damn cool. Even shows you like the common loot you can get from it. Obviously, there's a Twisted Bow from Chambers. I'll probably make another video before a release going more into depth on some of these content, but... For now, I'm just talking about it. So they do currently have Chambers in TOB, and I believe they will be releasing TOA on their first update once the server launches as well. 
They also have their own custom Arbor Grave Swamp Raid, which can give you some really cool rewards and pets as well, including like ornament versions of each God Sword. They have every single working Desert Treasure 2 boss, full Nightmare, and a bit of a niche feature, but not many servers actually have like working sounds. They actually have like a fully working sound system, so if you go in game and turn on music, it won't just be silence. But yeah, aside from that, they have pretty much every other boss that you can think of, along with every minigame as well, including like Inferno, Winter Todd, Blast Furnace, Mulk Lake, Pyramid Plunder, like pretty much every minigame you can think of. But yeah, they do also have some custom items in games like this Demon X equipment I have in my inventory. So I believe you can actually upgrade this Noxious Staff into a Tomkin's Shadow, by the way. So that is possible to get. Don't have enough points at the moment, though. But yeah, some of these items do look pretty damn cool. They even have some armor sets like the Blood Set that I have currently. As you can see, it just looks really damn clean, honestly. They have full Missouri Tebow. Oh yeah, I have a giant Easter egg. They even added like a Jad plushie or something in my hand. That looks pretty damn cute. Then we have the Demon X Staff. Holy shit, that stuff looks really awesome. Demon X Sword, let's put the Defender on with that. But yeah, essentially all their custom items are pretty damn clean. So they also have fully working gambling, so we're just going to do a little FP for his Light Bearer, which we put up. I have no idea what these items are worth. Zero crossbow. All right, let's go. So it is completely automatic, so there's no risk of getting scammed or anything like that. It'll take you over to a random swap, and then I, begin I think you just start planting. All right, we got two pastels. Oh, he busted. Unlucky. But yeah, they do also have blackjack, dicing, I think slots as well, so loads of different ways to gamble. On top of that, they even have their own custom skill called Demon Hunter and Fortune. So you can actually go all the way up to 2376 total level. I don't think they have construction though, which is honestly probably a good thing. They even have their own perk finder minigame, and they've already added the Colosseum. And I believe they're planning to actually add the Colosseum already from the new Volumor update on Ursaris, so... This might be the first server to have that, which is pretty damn awesome. I've also just made a fresh new account real quick, just to show you guys like what different modes you can choose from. So you can choose from normal, Iron Man, Ultimate Iron Man, Group Iron Man, and they even have their own custom game mode called Worldy Man. So essentially you get 10% extra drop rate, but you're locked to the wilderness and you're constantly sculled as well. So this one's a hardcore one and you downgrade to normal Worldy Man and death, but you get 25% extra drop rate. So lots of different modes to choose from. Either way, I am really excited for this launch. Hopefully I'll see some of you guys on the launch this Sunday. Like I said, Sunday, 31st March. I will link the Discord in the description below. There's a bunch of prizes and competitions going on in there, so don't miss out on that. And also don't forget to enter the giveaway because because 10 Ultra Mystery Boxes are honestly worth quite a lot. So yeah, don't miss out. Either way, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.